yeah hi um it's been a while and um i probably wouldn't be sitting in front of a mic right now if it really wasn't for the extreme outpour of support i've gotten in the last 24 hours and i feel like i've had a lot of difficulty trying to figure out what i was going to say in front of a mic but now that this has happened i feel like it's very easy to figure out what I need to say and there is definitely a thank you in there because I have never in my life in the past decade and some that I've been posting online I have never in the first 24 hours of something being posted I have never seen that much amount of support within the first 24 hours so thank you to give you even an idea of how massive this is my views on my youtube channel not even just the tiktok we're not even we're not even at tiktok yet but just the views on my youtube channel have doubled in the last 24 hours as compared to since 2017 when I started posting on YouTube so thank you um, it's kind of odd being in that position where um, I'm getting that much attention it's really weird for me but I can't say that I didn't go to sleep just absolutely happy and even if I don't know my short or whatever you want to call it even if it's a one-hit wonder I'm fine I'm I'm just glad there are people out there that like my content, that like my art enough to say sweet things like that. And it just meant a lot to me, even if it won't mean anything to anybody in the next few months or years. It meant something to me. So if you did come around and you found yourself here again, once again, thank you. Um, I don't want to give my whole sob story, but um, I remember vividly that kid going, Oh, I'll get more attention when I'm better. I'll get more attention when I'm better. I remember that kid telling themselves that for many, many years. And then at this point, it was very, it's very nice to see people say I'm underrated. <laughs> because, I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm not humble. I am a very humble person <laughs> considering like I'm in complete shock. Um, I don't want to seem like I'm not humble but I I also <laughs> believe I'm underrated to a degree but it's for different reasons. It's not because I, I think I'm some spectacular like specimen who should be Da Vinci levels popular but I do think that I have enough skill to be up there with other people and I mean it's fine I don't really want that as much as um that sounds ungrateful um I don't how do I word this I'm not wrapped up in the idea of needing to be large because something that's very sobering when you have been around for this long is that follower count followers do matter follower count does not matter follower count doesn't matter what i mean by that is you can absolutely get by with the smallest number of followers and sometimes even a larger number might be detrimental or it might not be you might not be doing as well with a larger follower count. So definitely if you see, oh, I have X, Y, and Z amount of followers and I can't do this, I can't find clients, I can't find, I can't find commissioners, I can't find, I can't put my stuff out there. I don't think that even 100% of the time it's because you're a small person and a very sobering thing is finding out that a larger follower account doesn't mean that you're going to be more visible and I mean it kind of hurts in a way but um yeah it doesn't really mean that you're going to be more visible and that's what I've learned 
after. I spent a lot of time cultivating my following on Twitter and that ended up where, where I am now, where I was doing much better when I was in the 200s than I am now in the 500s. And it's probably because I took a hiatus, which you know why I took that hiatus. Um, it's the most anger inducing reason for somebody's visibility to come tumbling down. I don't want to seem like I'm digging for sympathy points, but um, just to give you an idea, one of my family members passed away, so I had to take a hiatus and I got really sick. <laughs> so I ended up refunding all of my commissioners that year and then I took a hiatus because I could barely get out of bed because I was that sick from overworking myself. And after that, after coming back from that, I just never recovered. And I guess I've been bitter ever since. Not bitter, I'm disappointed. It's so disappointing to see how people are treated when they have to take necessary steps for content creation to be healthy for them. And it just kind of blows that for me, the sobering reality had to be the death of a close family member for that to um, be something that I learned. But, you know, it's a thing and it happens and it's sad, but you just ca gotta keep moving. And mm -hmm. I mean, I guess what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, I mean, I've been posting more recently, but that's for other different reasons. And I feel like this is going down as such a sad route. <laughs> But, um, bear with me. Yeah, I've been posting more often because I just, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I've reconnected with my crafts. I used to like to do speed paints and the thing that have been holding me back for so long is the fact that I couldn't really get in front of a microphone to be able to figure out what I wanted to say. So I just like kind of kept the footage behind because I know people like to listen to speed paints more than they like to watch them so I just kind of told myself oh well if I put music behind it then it's not really going to get any traction which is not true <laughs> my, my my speed paints the speed paint that I posted which was like 20 minutes and it's only music it has gained more traction than even my voiceover speed paints, so I will definitely keep that in mind that I don't have to force myself to talk to be able to still put my process out there for people to watch because people will still want to pro watch that. Um, so that's reassuring. I'm glad I figured that out. And that takes a lot of stress off of me to uh, just post as I go and post when I feel like it that's really nice but uh yeah back to the main topic jesus um <laughs> two oh my gosh over like three different platforms where videos are favored um <laughs> like three thousand views and that might not be anybody else's idea of viral but that is the most attention i have ever gotten and i felt like a madman Especially on TikTok, um, it's, it's more chill over here with the short, there's only really been like two comments and then another comment on my YouTube, which was like two new people, which was really nice. Um, thanks. Thanks for wanting to be here. Um, <laughs> but, um, I, I felt like a madman over on TikTok, just like scrambling to reply to everybody because I feel like everybody deserves to be replied to. And... I just hope that uh, I didn't come off as like, I get annoyed easily. I don't. <laughs> I was being silly. Um, so if you felt like I was like angry at you because like you made a comment that was like, to me, confusing, I was amused. <laughs> I wasn't amused. Like the gotcha life one was really funny because I was way too old. I was in high school by the time gotcha life came out, <laughs> or at least, or at least I think it came out in like 2018. Um, I don't remember. All I remember is that like a really horrible person. Well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't know. He's not, I wouldn't say he's a horrible person, but he's not, there's a lack of critical thinking skills going on there for his age. And um, anyway, uh, 
yeah I remember he was like shitting on little kids <laughs> so um, yeah I remember watching like one of those videos I was like oh um that's kind of cringe but kids are cringe and that's okay because I think kids deserve to be cringe kids deserve to be kids being cringe is a part of being a kid so cringe culture is dead um if you're like a teenager or a child and you're worried about being cringe don't worry you're still going to be cringe and that's fine because you're a child and you deserve to have your childhood so go off be as weird as you want and then like <laughs> and then like cringe at yourself later but uh, yeah those comments made me laugh and i by no means was angry i am not i know there's a lot of toxic people out there and i know there are a lot of mean people out there but um i would hope i'm not one of those people i've had a good share of being a not so kind person when i was a kid and there are people that i did try to apologize to but they just like kind of ignored my message so um even if they happen to stumble across this video i'm sorry uh <laughs> I don't agree with what they did in retaliation. Uh, that was a little weird, but um, I still think they deserve a sorry because being put in a position where people are not so kind to you is not, it's never a good thing. And I still think even if you did weird shit, even though they were adults, um, I still think they deserve a sorry. And I hope they're doing better. I hope they're better people. They were not so kind people and it's unfortunate that they're a large influence on people and i hope they are not as shady as they used to be and i hope they're actually living up to the peace and love aesthetic that they try to portray to their audience and they're teaching people to be kind people my own community i'm very no nonsense when it comes to mean people rude people or just people who have just dog shit takes very no nonsense about it i really encourage the use of the block button <laughs> because i like to keep my peace and there are times when people are mean and rude for a good reason and you can tell why they're being mean and rude and you can also tell that they're not an actual mean or rude person but they're portraying you as such and that can always be talked out and I, I I'm a big believer in talking out your disagreements and talking out this communication that's a key part of communication in general yeah I feel like uh where was I going with this uh yes even let let's say in the near future or whatever whatever happens I don't I don't really care. <laughs> I, 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 I don't care if I get big. I don't. I can stay niche and I can always continue to call myself the cryptid of the world um, because I don't go outside either. <laughs> um, I can continue to call myself a cryptid for the rest of my life and be the small... I like to think of myself, maybe this is just to help myself sleep at night, but I like to call myself like this it's like one of those niche oddities that you find on the internet that you go whoa that's really really cool there is no reason why this is very very niche and nobody knows about this that's how I feel about my videos or my art or whatever I post and I don't know I feel like after you know kind of giving up not really giving up but like kind of giving up on being big and like wanting people to now i'm terrified of people learning of my ocs um because i've seen how people disrespect people's boundaries but um i'll, I'll be keeping them to myself for now <laughs> because i'm very not comfortable with a lot of things and uh yeah i'm kind of i'm okay with being small forever that's fine as long as my goal, which my goal is always to be a person who gives other people hope. My whole purpose, or I guess the whole purpose of me still posting publicly, because I'd be more than happy to just keep trying in a private space and just never show my face on the internet again publicly. I'd be fine. But um, 
the whole reason that I keep posting publicly is because I want to be an inspiration for, or just a nice person for young and new artists. Because you can be old and a new artist. You don't have to be young. You don't have to feel like, oh, because I'm in my 20s or because I'm in my 30s, 40s or 50s or whatever. Just because I'm older than the early age of artists, I can't do it anymore. I, I don't think, I think you can always start. There's there's a piece of paper, there's a piece of pencil, the, there's a piece of paper, you can have a pencil, and you can start drawing. I remember I started drawing when I was little, which was not that far from those 2013 pictures. Yeah, that wasn't far from when I started taking it seriously. I think I started taking art seriously in like 2011. It might have been 2011, 2012. Seri when I say taking art seriously, I mean serious enough to like actually want to improve. Yeah, um, I remember trying to, oh my gosh, tracing is your friend in the sense of like if you traced a 3D model, like not tracing anybody else's art and claiming it as your own, that is not good. But if you did a master study, um, like tracing specific parts of like a piece of art could help you learn how to draw something. I know I remember looking at the Kitchen Princess cover and I was like, I want to draw like that. And so I, I, I took a piece of paper and like I tried to draw it and the head was so triangular. And I was like, oh, this looks really ugly. But I kept on trying and my brother feels really bad. But um, when I was younger, he would tell me my art is ugly. <laughs> He would tell me my art is ugly and I used to use that I used to get like really mad and so like <laughs> I ended up taking it as something to like prove him wrong I wanted to prove him wrong so I kept on practicing and now that we're older now that we're both in our 20s he's like um I feel really bad about that <laughs> he's like go on because like he's also trying to draw and like he draws occasionally and he's like, go on, you can tell me my art is ugly. And I will never do that to him. I will never, ever, ever do that to him. Even though he doesn't think that his art is good, I think his art is good. And every time I see him improve, I get really proud and weepy. And <laughs> I'm a younger sibling, by the way. <laughs> but um, I see him improving. And yeah, I love to see people improve. <laughs> I love seeing people get better and really hone their style. So, you know, yeah, um, my whole thing is that I, if I keep continuing to post things, at least I hope it helps people see that even if they feel like they're not really good enough, because I, I know how that feels. I definitely know how it feels to be like, oh, I'm not really getting attention and, um, it must be because my art is not good enough. That is not true. That is not true. You could be Da Vinci and still not be known by anybody but um <laughs> sorry i hope that i'm some type of beacon of hope to somebody and my videos or my content or my community helps uplift everybody young artists new artists intermediate artists professional artists whatever um i just hope that we can all come together and not say, oh, it's because your art is undesirable, as a much larger artist that I looked up to said in 2020. And that was really hurtful. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you're not getting any traction because your art is undesirable and like people just don't like your art and, and like you should, I don't know, like I don't think you should change yourself to fit the trends just to be able to be visible oh my god i'm getting emotional i have oh <laughs> i'm sorry i'm reminding my I, i'm remembering my my younger self where i felt like i had to change myself or like my style wasn't good enough so i had to be like somebody else and that's not true and i know for some people when i when i said trying not to fight my own art style felt really freeing but like, you might not even know the half of it. I spent years 
wanting to quit art because I just like I didn't find my art I thought there was something wrong with it and I don't know it just feels really nice to be in a place where I'm in a good place for my art and I'm oh no I'm crying <laughs> it feels really nice to have a really nice relationship with my art at this moment and people actually say that they really really like my artwork <laughs> it feels really nice and I've never ah, I can't stop crying <laughs> ah, oh, I I didn't know I was going to be oh, really happy <laughs> don't get it twisted I'm really happy I never could have imagined this in one second it was because the large artist who had long forgotten what it feels like to fight the algorithm now it was them telling me that my art wasn't adequate enough so that's why I was invisible and oh gosh <laughs> and I knew those things weren't true but it's very nice to have really nice people say really nice things about your art even if it's like one or two people that really means the world to me so I didn't expect to talk for 30 minutes and it's probably going to be way way shorter after I edit everything but um <laughs> from the deepest part of my hearts thank you hearts oh gosh I only have one heart oh <laughs> But from the deepest part of my heart, thank you for all of the kind comments, for the insane amount of attention um, that really scared me. <laughs> that that did scare me. I was a bit disturbed. Um, disturbed probably isn't the right word, but like I was, I was a bit, I was shocked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna force myself to make content, so please don't think I'm going to post daily. I don't post daily. I'm just going to post when I feel like it, and hopefully you will be there when I post again. So, once again, thank you, and I'll see you again when I see you.